You nailed this accent. Tell me about about going through that and uh, and the, the preparation to, to get that down. Uh, it's funny, yeah. I went well. I was I <laughs> went down to Nashville, uh, Tennessee, before we started shooting, and, and um, it's interesting because I was I had to be careful about picking up the Tennessee accent, and also we shot in Shreveport and. The Louisiana accent is actually not that, it's not that similar to the Alabama accent that Hank had in, in you know, back in, in the late 40s, which is what I was doing. So the way I tried to get a hold of his sound was, was, was listening to all the lost concerts, which you can find on, you know, some on YouTube and you can some download some on iTunes. And it's amazing. If you listen to Hank Williams, it's con like there are all these concerts and audio recordings. And between sets and between songs, he had this incredible kind of comedy routine where he takes the mickey out of his bandmates and he's kind of ribbing the audience. And, and um, that's kind of how I found his speaking voice. Um, what did you pick up when you, I know you spent several weeks in Nashville. What, yeah. what, what slang did you pick up while you were down there? So, uh, <laughs> so many things. So, things Rodney used to say, Rodney, Rodney used to say, um, um, he used to be on my back about, um, vowel sounds. So I would say things like, uh, I can't get you off of my mind. And Rodney Crowell would say, Oh, Tommy boy, it's not can't, it's can't, like a tin of paint. So every time I was like, I can't get you off of my mind. And I was always like, always going can't, paint. Taint. Did any of them stick with you when you uh, went on to your next project, just sort of slang from the south? Yeah, I, I would say I would sort of slip into the accent weirdly. I would say, I'm right here, I'm up in here. You got that? You got that sound?